name is Vicki Schaefer and I'm from the Purdue Extension Nutrition Education Program in Grant and Howard Counties. Today, I'm going to be talking about what to do with those garbanzo beans. You've seen these in the food pantries. There are a lot of these. So I thought I would show you just a little bit about what to do with these by making an after school hummus. And I have attached um, the recipe, so if you would like to have that, I can uh, get that to you. So uh, we start out with a can of these garbanzo beans, um, and we open that and put that in the blender. And to the garbanzo beans, we are going to add some garlic, It's a half a teaspoon of garlic. Um, we're going to add a tablespoon and a half of lemon juice. We're going to add a teaspoon of cumin. And if you don't have cumin at your house, you could use um, chili powder. Chili powder will also give it a really nice taste. So we're going to go ahead and use the cumin today. And um, then you're also going to put um, some pepper in there. And we're going to mix that up for just a second on the blender. If you don't have a blender, you could use um, a potato masher and a bowl and just mash it with a potato masher. That would be fine. But uh, since I have the blender, we're going to go ahead and do that. So. Then we're also going to add some vanilla yogurt, um, about a half a cup of this vanilla yogurt. And if you're not familiar with hummus, hummus is a dip. You use it as a dip. And you can dip things like these crackers in the hummus. Or you can use tortilla chips. Or you can use fresh vegetables, such as celery or carrots. Oops, carrots in your um, hummus, with your hummus. So um, we're just going to add that in our bowl here and you can see that it would make a healthy and good after school snack or a snack for any time. Um, and using some of those garbanzo beans or sometimes they're called chickpeas. Sometimes they'll be labeled chickpeas, but either one they're um, very good for us, they're high in protein, so uh, they're, they're uh, healthy, low fat, uh, so they're very healthy for us. So I wanted to tell you today also a little bit about this nutrition education program that I um, am fortunate enough to be teaching. Um, during this time, we're going to be offering these lessons um, online so uh, it's what it is, it's uh, some lessons that you're going to learn things like this hummus recipe. You're going to learn some new recipes. Each time I will be doing a recipe. And each time we will, we will be doing one of the Eat Smart Move More lessons. Um, the lessons are going to consist of the My Plate, how do you know if you're eating the right foods and the right amounts of foods? Because um, our foods 
Um, sometimes we're eating way more than what we, we need. And then sometimes our plates are a little bit lopsided. So we'll be talking about that, making half of your plate fruits and vegetables. We'll be talking about whole grains. We'll be talking about lean protein and low fat dairy products. We'll also be talking about how to read a food label. How do you know if that food is good for you? When you look on the nutrition facts label here, how do you know if 10% is a lot or not a lot? Um, how do you know if the ingredients in there are good for you or not? So those are some of the things that we'll be talking about on the label reading lesson. And then we'll also be going on and talking about how to move more because to stay healthy, we need to be moving. So we'll be doing some light activities, uh, simple activities. And if you think I'm going to be doing aerobics, then this is not the program. <laughs> so, but we're going to be doing some light physical activity and giving you some suggestions on ways that you can stay physically active. That's very important for us. And then the last lesson will be on um, food safety, following the four fight back rules to cook, chill, separate, and clean. So uh, those are the four fight back rules that we'll be following and we'll be talking about how long things are good for in your refrigerator and your freezer and uh, things like that. These are free to you. So if you are interested um, in getting, receiving these videos, I'm going to try to put one out a week. Um, and if you are interested in receiving these videos, uh, just let me know. Um, my email account is SchaeferV, that's S-H-A-F-E-R-V, as in Vicki, at purdue.edu. And I will also have that on the, the uh, uh, attachment also. So just let me know if it's something that you would like to receive every week. If you do watch all four of those videos and complete a short survey from Purdue, you will receive a certificate from Purdue showing that you have completed those um, four um, courses. So. And that's nice too. Some, uh, some of my clients in the past have used those for um, job interviews. Um, I've had some of them take them to court judges. Um, so, and it's nice to show that you have completed the class. So um, just let me know. So I've enjoyed doing this little short video with you and uh, telling you a little bit more about Purdue Extension Nutrition Education Program. Thank you.